Mr. Clark. Thank you, Madam Chairman. By way of preamble, I query the right of free movement and the posted worker directive. You see, I'm old enough in the UK to have observed people from all over Europe working in the UK quite happily before even there was a Treaty of Rome. I'm a teacher. I taught with teachers from all over Europe at various times. They had no problems, and that's before we joined the then common market. So what is it all about? Now, Laval et al. is a question not of individuals but of mass movement. And what's happened is that the collective agreements have brought in the situation whereby they work at less than that country's minimum wage. Now, as I understand it, the minimum wage in those countries concerned is an act of parliament of those countries. So by what right does the ECJ overturn the law of those countries? Is it a question that actually the agenda is to so promote the mass movement of workers in great numbers that you blur distinctions nationally, leading ultimately to the destruction of the nation state? 